is absolutely class. Here in Dewsbury Hall has failed Leicester out here. We are back, everybody. The Championship is back. The EFL is back. And so the match vlogs are back too. It's Leicester versus Coventry. It's pretty early in the morning. I haven't had too much sleep. Let's get ready to head up to the King Power. Leicester v Coventry. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Read into that what you will. Daddy's off to the football, Enid. Bye bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Here we are, ready to go. Then it's about an hour and a quarter. Looks like we'll be there just after 10 a.m. Up the M1, we go to Leicester. See you on the other side. Here we are in lovely Leicester. Nice, easy journey, that one. It's Leicester v Coventry. I should have mentioned earlier, local derby, this one, the M69 derby. I will leave it to the Leicester and Coventry fans in the comments to tell me how significant and important this is to either or both fan bases, but should give us a really good atmosphere for our first vlog of the season. Leicester Coventry, let's get to the King Power. A couple of reprobates that you might recognise, uh, Coventry YouTube legends, Matt and Sophie. Matt, are you happy to be back, vlogging again? Yeah, absolutely, and what a, what a game to kick start the season with. Um, it's obviously one of the more difficult games with both tipped Leicester City to do well this season, but you know, just get this first game out of the way, start scoring points as the season goes on. You know, losing today isn't the end of the world, but you know, just hoping for a good game. And like I say, I've said on my video, I'd take a draw today. We'll see how it goes. Coventry could win, not ruling it out. Sophie, you've just shown me a picture of Gus Hamer in a lovely yeah. giant pair of headphones. That yeah. means, sorry, let me sort my camera out. That means he's staying, do you think? I hope so. I really hope so. We don't know. We don't actually know if he's going to be playing today. Hopefully he's in the starting eleven. I think that would make our chance of getting something from this game a lot better. Both of you, take a point right now, shake hands and we'll go and get back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, guys. I'm going to say this with a semi-grin. Good luck in there, yeah? <laughs> safely inside the King Power. Great sea, beautiful day actually, beautiful stadium to be fair. Team news is out, Jamie Vardy starts up top for Leicester. Mavadidi makes his debut, stack line up the new keeper, Hermanson in. No Cody, we didn't expect him to be um, playing injury news revealed before the game. Vestergaard comes in for him. They look strong, all the relegated teams always do. Coventry, the big thing we were talking about, Gus Hamer is fit, is playing, is available, is not being sold as of right now. He is in the team. Ellis Sims makes his debut. Expect a 3-5-2 from Cobb and maybe for them to play this a little bit like they played those playoff games. We are about 45 minutes from kickoff. Leicester versus Coventry, the M69 derby. Here we go. Out. Here we go, first block of the season. Let's start to beat Coventry. Thank God, here, good stuff actually. We're already figuring out what Maresca ball is going to look like for Leicester. We've seen the fullback come in into midfield. We've seen them play out from a goal kick and play right through Coventry. But Coventry do look really well drilled. Not much in this. 11.30 on the clock, nil nil. Midway through the first half, nice and spicy. Not much in it in terms of chances. I mean, less than a better side in terms of kind of territory pattern of play. They do get five men forward and Coventry have got a back three turning into a back five. So that is kind of playing into Leicester's hands in terms of building that territory. Coventry though, we know they can do this. They did this in the playoffs, sitting and absorbing. They look reasonably comfortable. No big chances yet, nil-nil. 23 on the clock. Chances are starting to come. Armour for Coventry just put one on the roof of the net. And Coventry had a really nice opening if um, it could have been slipped through forgotten at that point. Leicester had just come as close as they have. Doyle on the back post. Try to kind of force it in and Wilson just guarding his post, managed to tip it out. Things 
gradually getting moving here, but it is still tight, nil nil. Five to half time. I don't imagine either manager will be too unhappy with this. Plenty of time to go. I also don't imagine we're going to be seeing any more goals before we get that half time whistle, nil nil. Half time here, Leicester nil, Coventry nil. Really tight. Got a little bit looser though. Just before half time, Coventry came strong. A couple of nice goal mouth sort of action periods for them. Could have taken the lead, even though Leicester have had the possession and the territory. Coventry have forced the better chances. All about new players and new systems today, and we're looking strongly at this Leicester kind of 2 3 5, or sorry, 3 2 5 rather, when they're in possession with Ricardo, the fullback, tucking into midfield. Coventry, Sims looks a threat already. De Silva slotted in nicely. Latifodio, plenty of debut tons for them. I suspect Mark Robbins will be slightly the happier just in terms of how the half panned out. That obviously taken into consideration that Leicester first 45 under Maresca. Nil-nil, maybe the power of the benches as we saw on Friday night with a relegated team might tell us what is going to be the ultimate outcome in this game. Wow, immediately after the half-time kick-off, Ellis Sims clean through for Coventry, completely shanked it wide. Best chance of the game. Coventry have taken the lead. There was that big chance for Sims. They forced the corner not long after it. Swung in, nice delivery into the near post from the left-hand side. Kyle McFadzian glances the header in and 47 on the clock. It's less than nil. Coventry won, game on. Wow, Coventry should be 2-0 up with the chances that they've had in this half. Uh, Matt Goddard has just been slid through 1v1. He's got to score. Add that to the Sims chance at the start of the half. They are more than good value for their 1-0 lead. Leicester gone to the bench now. Pratt in for Ndidi. Coventry by far the better side here now in the second half. 1-0, 62 on the clock. Well, maybe this is an indication of where Coventry have got to in their championship journey. They've just made a triple substitution and brought in a couple of their new signings, Milan and Evic, the Dutchman is on. And excitingly for the Coventry fans, Hadji Wright is on. We think a fair chunk of change on those two. Um, Gustavo Hamer out of the game. Brilliant performance from him in the second half. Uh, 71 gone, still 1 0 Coventry. Well, it's tough on Coventry, maybe, but Leicester has got the serves there. Each one over. It's good by Navadini down the left. Ending up on the right hand side with Pratt. Brilliant cross. Bending out with the right foot. Dewsbury Hall arriving from centre midfield. It's home. 1 1. About 15 on the clock. Well, Leicester definitely looking more than likely winners now. The goal has completely changed the complexion of the game. Just gone close again through Dewsbury Hall. Uh, Coventry now, contrary to what I said a little while ago, will probably be perfectly happy with a point. Oh, that is absolutely class. Here in Dewsbury Hall has bailed Leicester out here. He just added a second goal. We've got two or three minutes left. He spins and he bends it, swinging outwards into the top corner. Brilliant performance from him. Coventry maybe have been the better side, maybe on the balance they deserve to win this. But Leicester have got Dewsbury Hall and they have the lead. Coventry behind. Leicester 2, Coventry 1. We are four minutes into nine minutes of stoppage time. Leicester holding that 2 1 lead. Barring a dramatic late equaliser, they're going to take the three points. Coventry are pushing. And there we have it, Leicester 2, Coventry 1. The story here is fairly simple. Kiernan Dewsbury Hall bails out. Leicester will not talk about the first half, fairly tight, but straight into that second half. Coventry were excellent. Missed a big chance right at the start of the half through Sims and then took the lead through 
McFadden. It really kind of shook Leicester. Gus Hamer really not only got hold of the ball, he got hold of the game, really. He was the best player on the pitch in that period. And commentary are going to be so frustrated. They did not get 2-0 up. Matt Godden, probably the most guilty of those chances. Moreshki did change things, but only in personnel. And, I mean, Dennis Pratt came on and he did, I suppose, set up the first goal. But let's just be fair about this. It was a brilliant individual performance in attacking midfield from Dewsbury Hall. He was arriving to head home that equalising goal. And then that really swung the game. Leicester got the bit between their teeth and Dewsbury Hall, really good finish for the second one, just swinging it out into the top corner. And he really is responsible for three points here that could have frankly been zero. I think Maresca Ball took its time and Coventry City are a fearsome championship opponent. Got all the way to the playoff finals. They are tough to play against. We've got plenty of periods in that first half where Leicester are trying to get that kind of 3-2-5 shape and Coventry just sit back and try and counter-attack. That's what they did. Really went for it in the second half. Could have gone on and win the game, but they didn't. So not totally blown away by Leicester per se. They've got a lot of star power and in Dewsbury Hall, they really had the match winner and the key player today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leicester fan, Coventry fan, I'm guessing if you're a Coventry fan, you feel you probably could have won that. If you're a Leicester fan, you're probably being thankful for that guy in central midfield. Maybe a bit of a sense bailing you out. Let me know what you think. Do hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want to stay with the channel, click up here you can have a look at my bold predictions and see what i thought ahead of the weekend did i get anything right blind squirrels and all that thanks for watching